Now we have some slides from a European report, and the main thrust of this European report is actually to make data more openly available so that we can have a complete ecosystem of patients and providers and pharmaceuticals exchanging information and doing these optimizations. In fact, the McKinsey highlighted. So, um, and that's this. Um, Here's this longish URL here. And they, they emphasize that we need to use all this data. Up to now, the data is often sat in silos. That's getting opened up by either making it accessible or actually putting it in an electronic, interoperable fashion. And you know, here they're making a strong statement that the health community, a professional community tended to not make data available, and this has to change. And also that something we've seen before. This is there are a lot of stakeholders or actors in this field. And we need to remove this division between official medical data and other sources of health information coming from people's smartphones and jogging monitors and things like that. And then we need to decide how we use this information. And we need to make rules that actually allow it to be used rather than all hidden and, and kept uh, secret for pr privacy reasons. And they need, they're urging various um, um, some things like certification of applications that do, do, do preserve privacy and things like that. And here we have this uh, recurring theme, which we'll see that they are sort of demanding that um, the health institutions tell you how they do, what, how they spend the, the, the money and what types of things they do, what their success rate is and things like that. And all this must be made available. So here we have me, or you, the patient. And this patient is meant to be uh, given the opportunity to access all this data. It should not be private only to the doctor or to the hospital. My data, my decisions. So in the DIKW, it is my data linked to other people's data that leads to my decisions at the top after we get our wisdom. So here's this uh, plea to liberate the data. And there's this nice comment here that data can be compared to oil in the ground. Because if it's uh, unusable and worthless in that state. However, you can extract the data from the ground and refine it. That's, the, that's using clouds to run data analytics. And then it has huge value. And so they're just pleading to get the data out of the ground, put it in the clouds, and run those analytic programs. And they suggest that this will revolutionize healthcare. And one feature of this is everything should be connected. One patient should be connected to other patients. They should be connected to the, connected to the doctors, to the laboratories, and the various government services. And everything should be done in a tr transparent fashion. And um, this, this is this concept of full transparency. And we're meant to be armed with the performance of um, information about the performance of health professionals and institutions. How they differ, and then we're allowed to make informed decisions about what we want to do and where we want to do it. And this, well, this is, there's a lot of trends in this direction, though then not always done in the most effective fashion. So this is, as this they point out, is patient-driven, bottom-up process. And this will enable an environment for e-health, which will drive change. And here we have a statement about diversity. Another, this is also, of course, true in the US. That this type of approach of open, transparent data should enable a more a de dem democratization of, of care, because it will not mean the people with better sources of information will just get better care, because everybody will have the same sources of information. So that's um, an important principle. 